your mouth, man. Y'all out here. They out here doing the work of the most time. <laughs> Hey, the scripture said, don't even get your script to a woman anyway. Oh, you got can't quote it. We got to get it. It's like, all right, that's a good script. Yeah, get that one I'm out. getting I'm bringing that out. All you got is a uh, bunch of uh, feminine men led by women, man. According to the Bible, man, the man is the head of the, uh, the head of everything. And the head of the man is Yahweh Shah, who you're called Christ. Uh, the head of uh, Yahweh Shah is Yahweh the Father, man. He created this earth only for Israel, man. Ain't that Proverbs 31 or 30? I think it's 30. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hey, that's a, that's, hey, hey, this is actually the words of a woman. So this is coming from a woman, right? We're going to see what a woman uh, going to say. A righteous, this, is what, this is what a righteous woman said in the Holy Bible. Proverbs 30 and 1, the words of Agar. The son of uh, Jack, actually, that's the wrong, is that right? No, it's 31, I'm in the wrong scripture. It's, 30, it's 31, my fault. Y'all gonna laugh at me, oh, I failed. <laughs> I get, we know so many scriptures, you get mixed up. Hold on, I got it. Right. Oh, here we go, I got it now. Y'all thought you weren't gonna get it. <laughs> Dang, where'd it go? Oh. It's hard, bro. My fingers are frozen. Now that's 31. Jewel that came out of that dog's ass. All right, here it go right here. Proverbs 31 and 1. The words of King Lemuel, the prophecy that his mother taught him. His mother. This is what a, uh, this is a woman. This is what, uh, right. they always be talking about my big mama, daddy, dang, grandma, this is my mama. Oh. This is coming from a real, uh, 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 a real Israelite a real woman. real Israelite woman who really praised the most high. And sincerely. And your grandma ain't never taught what we about to teach, what she taught. <laughs> right. They ain't never said this one. She said, what my son, and what the son of my womb, and what the son of my vows. Give not thy strength unto women. So let's say don't give your strength to a woman, man. That's coming out the Bible, man. You always be talking about the Bible sex. is not the Bible's full of righteousness, man. Ain't no woman. That's what, all right, so why ain't no women MMA and a man fighting each other? It'd be just too much. I know you heard about the fag, the black the, uh, dude that's transgender in the uh, MMA. Took they, over. You know what they said? Yeah. That's not fair. That's a man. Obviously, it's not fair. <laughs> I mean, yeah. How come there weren't no women playing in the Super Bowl last night? Yeah. I want to get. I mean, we all equal now, right? Everybody right. equal now. So you get out there and get hit, man. I want to see. Yeah, see y'all play halfback. Yeah. <laughs> see how that works out. Oh, no. I want to see him be a lineman. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, any position. Yeah, any position. They would still they would, they would still get a pancake right. <laughs> every play. Every right. play. Right. Uh -huh. them motherfuckers be throwing when they come off that line, they that elbow come. Well that yeah. line is dangerous, oh, boy. Yeah. You gotta be it. You that's gotta be the trenches. That that's the real trenches. Yeah, for real. You know, football's almost more dangerous than real <laughs> combat. <laughs> like, God damn. Yeah. It's a it fucking is. game. No, they say you play one game of professional football to body. All it takes is that one good crack to the skull. Yep. That's why everybody in the NFL is goddamn crazy. Hey, that's why they got concussion protocol now. Yep. <laughs> Shit. Oh, that was the point on that scripture. Though. Check yeah. this out. Proverbs 11 and 21. Yeah, warm my hand up. Though, hey, 22. <laughs> as a jewel of gold in a swine snout, uh. so is a fair woman, which is without discretion. Uh, yeah, because these women, out here, they got no discretion. Y'all got to learn what discretion is. You got all women, they walk around dressed like strippers and stuff. That's not being discreet, you know? You're supposed to dress in modest clothing, you know? Have some respect for yourself and others. All right, these women walk around speaking like they ain't got no goddamn sense. Yep, speaking. You can hear them, that cackling from a mile away. Foul as hell, all foul as hell, man. All disrespectful, rude. Open their leg, all you smell is rotten rat. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> that rat been in that motherfucker for about a year and a half. <laughs> the cane. It's just a, well, well, well uh, on South Park, uh, they went into uh, the bus driver's gooch. It, oh, no, yeah. it, it was a rat carcass in yeah. that <laughs> <laughs> Man, I got to watch me some South Park. Some funny shit, I don't ever watch You always talk about it. <laughs> I love it. I love it, man. They think they can go to Esau for some remedy to cure that, man. Yeah. 
You know, sorry, baby. That thing is just put to sleep in there. Yeah, they, they abuse them clinics, right. you know? Abuse. That them antibiotics don't even work no more. Antibiotics. Oh, yeah. Antibiotics. Antibio Bi means crazy, life. Anti-life. Yeah, right there, in the, right there in the name. Yeah, bio means life in Greek. <laughs> then she get pregnant, she don't even know who the baby dad is, man. You got to take her out. You got to go to Maury to find out. <laughs> right. This is not. You are not. That's why, according, according to the Bible, man, you only supposed to have one man. Man, I, I just seen that myself. Oh, my fault. I didn't mean to cut you off. But I, I just seen it myself. I was uh, over my. Uh, I know this guy, right? I know. The, I know this girl, but she done. She was fucking everybody. But she, uh, they didn't know who the baby's dad was. This one guy, she didn't know who the dad was, right? But this one dude swore up and down that was his baby. He's holding the baby, loving the baby. Somebody took out my son. My son looks just like me, don't he? Yeah. You know, but no, just a few days ago, found out you are not the father. <laughs> You boy, he was suicidal. It's like, nah, I don't. You know, he was devastated over there. You are not the father. I'm like, thank God. Let me get the fuck out of here. Hey, wait. Is a promise of scripture go back to this red? It's a Proverbs 31 and 30. Favor is deceitful and beauty is vain. But a woman that feareth your hour, she shall be praised. Woo! Yup. What was that, 31 and what? Yeah, they make themselves up. Yeah, 31 and 10 also. Throwing them tight ass, uh, uh, villain clothes, yeah. you know, to go out there and get them another man, then another man, then another man. Yeah, you you know, know, all for vain, in vain. It's the truth, because what sells? All right, so check it out. Look at Jeremiah tell him, say that. He's, all their lovers going to seek to kill these bitches, man. Hey, that's, you know? a, oh, let me get that's a good point. He said sex sells. Hey, you know what? Last week, we, we was out here making a video, and we was talking about watching pornos and stuff. Yeah. We was talking about that. Yeah. And I put that, I, I named the video, if you don't watch porn, that means you're a liar. That's what I named it. And, and out of all the videos last week I put up, guess which one got the most views? Number four. The one, <laughs> and then, you know what the YouTubers be doing? Yeah, put a little picture on there like a oh, girl yeah, that, putting over. The clickbait. Yeah, then you click on it, then they be doing other shit. You be like, ah. Oh. Then you be going through the video trying to find the picture. And they just got it. <laughs> that tell you Israel too, though. Because a lot of, you got a lot of Jake's watching our videos. So they're not going to click on the video unless it's something crazy like that, too. Oh, that's my girl. Shit. 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 Don't talk about my girl like that's my princess. Shit. We're gonna be fighting. Square pants? Yeah. Oh no, it's cold out here. We just time to quote the scriptures. Yeah, bring them all out. Like, Proverbs 21, 31 and 10. Who can find a virtuous woman for her price is far above rubies? Right. Who can find a virtuous woman for her price is far above rubies? Well, the whole... This is a public place. There's actually public. a camera right here above you and the camera hey, you, right here. Hey, you, y'all right right see them cameras right, right there? Here. You see the camera right here on the cutter oh, thing? Hold on. The camera's at the state house, man. You got an Android. Uh, if you got an Android phone, it, it's it's taking video of you while you on the toilet. So you right. want it in the way. You don't want to be on a camera. Right. I don't care. So you're in our way. You're about to move. And somebody won't feel uncomfortable. Right. It's yeah, our space. Yeah, yeah. Hey, in the hood, nigga, blow up the niggas head off the news show up there. Number niggas. Oh up yeah, I bet if the new. I, I bet six. I saw them do it. I bet if six on their side was out here. You'd be up there waving, waving. <laughs> Hi, mom. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's, that's what's wrong with that's what's wrong with Israel, man. That's why the most high gonna destroy you. Uh, yeah, y'all just gonna man. get destroyed because y'all despise the Bible. That's why you get mad at it. Despise the of the Lord. Yep. So they don't want to associate themselves with the truth. Right. That's all that is, man. That's good though. I can't be mad at it. No. I ain't mad. I ain't mad. The most high did that. We to understand. You. Yeah, we understand. <laughs> we understand. Jeremiah 4 and 30, and when thou art spoiled, what wilt thou do? Though thou clothe thyself with crimson, though thou deckest thee with ornaments of gold, though thou rentest thy face with paintings, 
In vain thou shalt make thyself fair. Thy lovers will despise thee. They will seek thy life. Woo! That's fire. Yo. I'm fucking nigga after nigga every week. Nah, they're doing a week. Because a new weekend day is Thursday now. That's a weekend day now, man. The bitches in the weekday, in the clubs and the bars all day, all every day of the week. You know? Because my, 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 my man, he works third shift. Oh, man, I got a little freedom. You know, that's how they think, man. They do their, they do their work. Fucking boy, nigga, that's some nasty shit. And that simple ass nigga going up in that stinking shit, not thinking. Cause he in love and shit. Go back to fucking a feminine I love her though, man. I love her, man. I got kids with her, man. I love yeah. her, man. No, no. Soon, soon if I seen a bitch and an ugly ass little kid, I'm that's an automatic turn off. Like no, I don't even want to talk to you no more. No, thank you. I'm still with an infant. And the first time, if I'm talking to a woman and she says one bad thing about, if she says she was with a man and she starts talking back, I'm gone. Bitch, if you act like you got, you got get along with my kids and shit. Oh, fuck your kids. <laughs> fuck them little bastards. No, no way one. I ain't being daddy for your kids. Why don't you go find a real dad? How about you do that? <laughs> nasty ass hoes. <laughs> Fucking nasty ass, trifling ass bitches. They just about to hit like the bitch down in the cartel, down in Mexico, whatever the fuck they at. They be taking motherfucking bitches into the woods, chopping their heads off. You know, put them on video first, shoot them in the face, all that shit. That's what's gonna happen to the black bitches, all these other bitches. Different tribes, you know. Lord the Lord, hey, the Lord has raised up lions, man. In the, in the nature of a lion, when they kept take over a tribe, he killed them little bastards. He killed, he killed them. You know? But, but, but in the, when the Lord gives us that spiritual power, and the look, we put things back in order, all these adulterous women all get put to death. Got to go. Nobody gets no passes. But some of these women know that you know they got a sincere heart. They might be a whore. But the Lord, hey. We ain't talking about you. But the Lord can still deliver a whore. The Lord, the Lord will deliver a prostitute before one of these women pretending like they all right and corporate. Corporate, corporate hoes. Yeah, corporate hoes. Yeah. The university bitches. Cause some women gotta be whores just to survive. What would you say the other day? Uh, it was like a couple videos ago. Uh, that was on Facebook. Uh, people and shit. They was all like the prostitutes. It was like a little island there. Like, oh right, yeah. They were right. like the prostitutes, but they was out there selling what? Oh yeah, yeah. Right. I saw it too. Uh, Rita Trailer. Yeah. The uh, nurses, <laughs> the uh, doctors, <laughs> teachers, like the government puts them. Actual professors. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, that's where this is going, man. The Lord, when He turns the heat up. These proud ass women, man. <laughs> hey, look. Hey, what morals or thoughts y'all had gonna be thrown out the door? <laughs> I got that scripture just real quick. Uh, <laughs> you know, ready? What? Yeah, I was talking to them wicked Israelites. Yeah. That's what he told them. Matthew 21 and 31. Whether them twain did the will of his father, they say unto him, the first, Yeah, I said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that the publicans and harlots go into the kingdom of God before you. Hey. So that, that really, you got a lot of wicked Israelites out here. You know, they, they know the truth. Right, cause a lot of them, yeah. they, 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 they hoes, man, a lot of them hoes, man. These wicked ass niggas are turning into drugs. Yep. You know, they too weak anyway. They don't know how to fight the cross of that shit, man. So they just doing what they do. They just trapped. You know? They trapped. They what they do. And, but that man gotta take responsibility for turning that drug onto that woman, man. Hey, that's true. Hey, that's a good point. Cause just like a woman can be saved if the man believes, she could be destroyed too for what her husband did, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They both in unbelief and all that. Just like the ones that held the money back. Yep. <laughs> so Peter got some fire there. Yeah, today ain't no joke, is it? I don't know what's the household is. Look, this winter went quick, didn't it? It really did. This month went quick, man. Yeah. This is it. This month is it, man. You might have a couple of weeks. Hey, the groundhog said it's six more weeks. It's like that. Well, we offered the help, but I think the hell should be on the side. Hey, but you know that groundhog day, you know how, uh, you know, that's a Freemasonic ritual. That was Freemasons that came up with that. But they. You know how they find out the groundhog's seen the shadow, right? The groundhog whispers it in their ear. <laughs> That's crazy. I read the article the other day, man. Groundhog 
<laughs> that, that's a Freemasonic grudge. There's probably some more deep. There's probably some real demonic behind it. It's the ground hole in cahoots with the rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> that wasty <Wesley> rabbit. <laughs> Who is that? Putin? That's Putin Bush? Bush? The Chinese president at the time. Bush, Putin, and China's president. I don't know if... There's a lot more to it, though. I just got that... I, just, I don't know if y'all can see that. They all... It shows you how they're all part of the same brotherhood. That's a powerful shit, man. Yeah, the Masons is running shit out here. Yeah. All part of the same brotherhood. This whole nation was created by Freemasons. They were a bunch of devil workers. <laughs> this is uh, Luke 18. This is going back to how the world will choose. I mean, you said we had prostitutes, but also, like, you know, some things that repent, too, uh, rather than name the motherfuckers. Right, because you ain't getting saved by keeping a law and by being perfect. You got to have a perfect heart, not perfect flesh. This is Luke 18 and 9, and he said, he's back to this prayer, one, two, certain, two, certain, it's a certain which impressed with themselves that they were righteous and despised others. Two men went up into the temple to pray, one a Pharisee and the other a publican. The Pharisee stood and prayed thus in himself, just like with himself, God, I thank thee that I am not as other men, as extortionists, unjust, adulterers, even as this publican, which is the test I fast twice in the week, I give tithes all that I possess, and the publican is standing afar off, not lift up so much as his eyes into heaven, but smoke upon his breast, saying, God be merciful to me, a sinner. I tell you, this man went down to his house justified rather than the other, for everyone that exalted himself shall be abased, and he that humbled himself shall be exalted. Yep. Look at these trenches, y'all. And they said, uh, you know, they got different uniforms for y'all, what rank you have. You know that? So they look. Yeah. They love them flattering titles, you know. The, the scriptures say, "Whoever exalted himself will be abased." Oh, what's that? Galatians, the third chapter, says so, that he, up, it's good. He he that think that he is something is nothing becomes nothing, you know. Because you got a lot of people like that. They think they something, but really they nothing. Look, I use tide on my garment. <laughs> yeah, they taking they uh, taking their garments to the uh, to the. This to the cleaners, right? <laughs> Damn, they got to take them Sub Zero outfits to the cleaners. <laughs> you know, like, uh, like first, like King David, he said one of his songs he wrote. He said, "Uh, oh, that was what is it? I'll read it for you. Uh, songs I'm not even Shit, thank you. What uh, is it? Think songs one forty one two. Yeah, it's not that." What does it say? Uh, it's Lord, I cry unto thee, uh, let my prayer be set forth before thee as incense. No, it should be, it's probably. It's set a watch, O oh Lord, be before thy mouth. I'm probably in the 41. 42, sorry. That's good. I know it's in the 40s. Maybe it's, 40. it's easier to no, read it. It's 43, sorry. Uh, okay, you got it, we're good. Hold up. Uh, the enemy has pushed me up. It's like, two. Okay, okay. Oh, you fucked it up. <laughs> I got you. I might as well start at the top. Psalms 143 and 1. Hear my prayer, O Yahweh. Give ear to my supplications, and thy faithfulness answer me in thy righteousness. And enter not into judgment with thy servant, for in thy sight shall no man living be justified. Ooh, that's fine. That's bad. That's a good scripture. That end part is where it hits you. Hey, let me read that again. <laughs> it says, And enter not into judgment with thy servant, for in thy sight shall no man living be justified. We look Ooh. good, don't we? 
Oh man, I, that made me feel worse. Shit. That, that's that's what reminded me of like Republican. He was saying like, Lord, he didn't he didn't look up in heaven. He said, Lord, please get dressed. He's more than dressed. Like, please give me what I'm out. So he dressed for all his perfect. Yeah. He felt bad because he did he, something he wrong. Because you got a lot of these prostitutes, man. They feel it's like not, they feel like a filthy whore. You know, like they're disgusted with themselves. It's not a lie. Uh, what's his face? The first thing justifies it. I think there's a lot of like, look, I'm, I'm a sinner. They forget me. You know yep. what I'm saying? Like, hey, hey, just, I know this one in the pocket that said, don't justify yourself for God. Or something like that. I can't remember exactly. But... I already know I'm a big piece of shit. Yeah, I remind myself every day. Yeah, I'm a piece of shit, ain't hard to fucking tell. Yeah. That's the biggie smallest of that song. <laughs> Fuck it, when I die, I want to go to hell. Yeah. Fuck yeah. going to heaven with the goody goodies dressed in white. I like makes sense. Yeah, that's his best song he ever did. Because he's on point. He's like, I'm a big piece of shit. It ain't hard to tell. Yeah. Yup. Hey, but really, that, that's the real shit, though. Because look, uh, uh, that biggie small song, he, what do you say? Because he was taught that bullshit vision no, of heaven. heaven. Like, like heaven was uh, some faggot shit. You know what I mean? But really, heaven is, we is going to be getting our dick licked. He said, yeah. fuck it, I like black tan, black hoodie. Yeah, I like getting my dick, dick licked. Yeah. I ain't like no sleeping on Yeah, you know, getting my dick licked. Yeah. Fuck that lounging in paradise. Yeah, shoot so. guns and shoot dice or something. I can't remember. Yeah. Right, but in the kingdom, you, you be getting your shit licked all, all kind of ways. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So, but that's why the so. most high had to Ooh. take Biggie's fat ass out. You know, the big black... He even said it. I'm a black, big black nasty motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I know he's. I know. He, yeah, most high. That's what he had to go. When he raised by a woman, though, man. Yep. Beautiful thing. It's just something filthy and ugly. Yeah. Remember your Biggie Small says, "Me and my bitch." Yeah. She looks so good, I suck on his, my, our daddy's dick. <laughs> what the fuck? I asked the motherfucker to break that down to me. He's like, bro, the bitch so bad, you just want to suck on dad's dick. So I'm like, why? Why, why would you want to suck hey, hey, that, dad's dick? That, that's a proverb of a two-third. Yes. <laughs> why, though? Like, what does, like, why? What does, what does that justify? He's that's like, bro, left, that's a bad bitch. bitch. That's yeah, that's the left, that's the left-hand proverb, yep. 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 That is a, that's straight, that's crazy, a left-hand yep. proverb. Look so good, suck on your daddy's dick. That's bad, you know? So you already know he had no problem being a faggot. Right. Yeah, he said he fuck fucked RuPaul before he fucked them ugly bitches. <laughs> <laughs> and he got he got another song, uh, that little skit on, wasn't that Ready to Die when the bitch shit on him? He's like, the bitch shit it on me. <laughs> <laughs> or something, he had a bitch shit on him or something? He said something about fucking fucking Biggie was nasty, that is, Biggie was nasty, he was disgusting. They don't Oh, 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 little Kim. Yeah, little she, Kim. she white now. Y'all seen that, little Kim? White Chinese woman. Yep, she look white. Yeah. She all bugged out. Yeah. Little Kim. Tupac said Dre couldn't make up his mind. What he want to do? Eat some pussy or something? Yeah. yeah. And Pac said all. He said all. He said he hated being around. His exact words was those sellout ass niggas. Oh. That's what he said about Suge and everybody at Death Row. He said it was sellout ass niggas because he knew they was all uh, Freemasons and shit. Yeah, wrote that in his book. Cause they sure. killed his ass. Cause he must have not been down with it or something. He, he wrote it in his book, man. Yeah. His white book. I still, I gotta get that. Yeah. Sure, his wife just got her three years. Got for her part, she played in high, whatever. Yeah, for people like and shit. Yeah. She just got her three years. That bitch is crazy. Yeah, only, re only reason Pac got with Death Row so he can get out of jail. They put up that with like million bond or something. Took all his money. The next spot, right there. <laughs> oh, he must be with Wu Tang, my fault. <laughs> I can't wait, man. When the lights turn off, he ain't gonna hear none of that shit. You know? Oh, when them lights. And they hit the lights, boy. Just the vibration itself. Is it ain't gonna be no Teddy Pentagrass hit the lights either. Teddy! Ain't gonna be none of that, boy. Them lights go off. Like he said, you're gonna hear, ah! <laughs> it's gonna sound like a Saw movie out here. It's gonna be like, it's like Jigsaw out this boy. What's good? We the frozen chosen. <laughs> I'm gonna see y'all see y'all across the street. I was like, ice oh, yeah, you know, we only.
we out here thin and thin, man. No matter, no matter the weather, man. Can I address one thing? Man, I uh, can't find my thermostat. <laughs> Can I ask y'all something? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. It ain't going to be that deep. <laughs> don't go too deep. Nah, 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 you know, nah, it's all good. You know how I am, man. I don't, I don't, be, I don't like to do anything cause quarrel or scarf. You see me see me scarfing. You know what? I see amongst the amongst us who are ham and are not sham, it seems to me like they like to ruminate, right? The quarrels. So you almost feel like they're the enemy when you're around them. You know what I'm saying? You're talking about? You're talking about ham. Hamites? Yeah. They make you feel like they're they're your only enemy when you when you live in close quarters with them. Right. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. A lot of them might be Jakes though. Yeah. No, I, I mean I know the difference. Oh yeah. Jakes. Okay. I, yeah. Some people don't know that Israel is scattered among Ham. You can see. Yeah. You, I'm sure you brothers can discern who. Because we, we got yeah. a lot of Israelite. Like, like there's a like there's a lot of Israelite groups. Let's say anybody from Africa is a Hamite. You know. Yeah. We don't we, don't we don't we don't believe that. I don't believe it either. And so. What I've learned is like when you see them ruminating in the same fight, everybody still want to be thugs and gangsters, right? Mm -hmm. Everybody likes to, they like the look, they like the feel, they, it's status frustration. Yeah. So they still, they're so dangerous, they'll kill themselves trying to destroy you over notoriety, over status, because they like to be tough. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. That's how you'll know the difference between Shim and Ham, really. Yeah. I'm just letting you know. That's well, what you I've know, been noticing. The Lord referred to uh, his own people as heathens too. Yep. Yeah, he has. Yeah. Because they live in the league heathenness of lifestyle. Yeah, that's yeah. true. That's true. That's why the scriptures here fall out the way of the heathens. Right. They are just bad. That's heathens don't have natural people. No, brotherly love. Not they don't. They don't know that. You know? They don't even have a. It's a practice to them. It's more like a. Did Jake do that? Because Jake liked to show that brotherly love to the heathens. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's the. Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. And the heathens don't like it. Nah, the heathens will get.